Come to a comfortable cross-legged position. See that on a cushion or something that helps elevate your hips. Tall spine, index finger and thumb touching, backs of the palms to the thighs. Close the eyes down, begin to tune into the breath here. Really grounding into whatever your hips are seated upon and raising the crown of the head towards the ceiling. Shoulders ascend down and back. And as you begin to tune to the breath, really focus on the exhalation. Notice your lungs getting empty of air every time you exhale. And on an energetic level, just think about what you're releasing every time you breathe out. Begin to consciously lengthen the exhale. So it feels like your exhalation is slightly longer than your inhalation. This allows the palms to touch up in front of the heart center, Namaskar Mudra, thumb touching the chest. Remaining four fingers together. We begin clasp the sound of Om three times on the exhale. Take a smooth breath in to begin. Om. Inhale. Namaste. My name is Keith or Omkar, and this class will be a class designed to help get you out of a rut or to get you out of some stuck energy that you're feeling. Uh, in Ayurvedic terms, it's for balancing kapha dosha. So it's something that if you're stuck in a pattern that no longer serves you, it's a design to help get you out of that. And also, it's helping to remove excess mucus, phlegm, and uh, those sorts of uh, fluids in the body. If you're feeling very ungrounded, very anxious, you feel scattered in any way, this would not be an appropriate practice for today. Please choose one of the other videos on this channel. Otherwise, we'll begin the short chant of the Jyotir Mantra. The Jyotir Mantra is about transformation. The first line, Om Astoma Satgamaya, is about transforming from falsehood into truth. The second line, Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya, is about the transformation of darkness into light. And the third line, Mrichorma Amritam Gamaya, is about the transformation from death to immortality. So we'll chant that a few times together, thinking about the transformative aspect of this chant. Palms back into Namaskar Mudra, eyes can be closed down again. Inhale to begin. Om Astoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrichorma Amritam Gamaya Om Astoma Soma Satgamaya, Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya, Mrichorma Amritam Gamaya, Om Astoma Satgamaya, Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya, 
Mrityurma Amritam Gamaya Om Asatoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityurma Amritam Gamaya Asatoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityurma Amritam Gamaya Do you like that vibration from the mantra? It's helping to transform you on a subtle cellular level. Slowly open the eyes, place the hands on the knees. Begin to circle the navel around. Exhale as you round the spine, tuck the chin, and inhale as you circle with the chest extended forward. Feeling Articulation of all points of the spine. Make sure the shoulders, head and neck, we're getting some movement in as well. Just loosening up any kinks that we have from our habitual patterns of sitting, walking, standing. The next time you come to center, switch directions. Maintain that same breathing pattern of inhaling as the chest moves forward, exhaling as the chest caves backwards. Move at your own pace with your breath. One more round. And return to center with a tall spine. You can change the cross of your legs if you like. For Kapalbhati, the skull shining breath. This is a cleansing breath, very important for letting go of things that no longer serve you, both physically and energetically, and very important for balancing Kapha Dosha. That's a, an active exhalation through the nose. Inhalation is passive. You don't need to think about it. There should be no sound of your inhalation. And the only thing that moves is the belly, so it looks like this. No movement in the chest, no movement in the shoulders. Spine is tall. Some precautions for Kapalabhati. Uh, you should not do it if you're pregnant. If you're in your menstrual cycle, if you have a bad headache, cold constipation, you can practice but go a little bit more slowly than what I cue. Always listen to your body first, and then secondly listen to me. So come to a tall spine. Hands can be relaxed where they're comfortable. And close down the eyes if you like. Take a couple normal breaths. And then let's exhale together completely and inhale for Kapalbhati. Exhale completely. Engage your pelvic floor. Feel a slight lift at the center of your pelvis. Then slowly inhale through both nostrils, continuing that engage in the pelvic floor. Top of the inhalation, retain the breath. Tuck the chin in towards the throat. Chest expands up towards the chin. Shoulders relaxed here. Retaining the breath as long as it's comfortable. Om Asatoma Satgamaya. Amaso ma jyotir gamaya, mrichor ma amritam gamaya. Take the neck straight and slowly exhale. Inhale, feel the relaxation where you were tightening earlier at your pelvis, your muladhara chakra, exhale. Next inhale, a little bit higher to the second chakra, svadhisthana, just below the navel. And exhale out of the entire body. Third inhale, just above the navel, Manipura Chakra. And exhale completely. And slowly make your way onto your hands and your knees in a tabletop position. 
your hands directly underneath your shoulders, your knees directly under your hips. Inhale the left arm up out into the side. Exhale thread in between the right wrist and the right knee, hovering the arm and left ear over the mat. Inhale, taking the arm up and out again, and exhale, threading through. One more time, inhale, and exhale. This time, go ahead and rest the ear on the mat, the entire back of the left arm on the mat, and continue to press into the right hand so that you're not feeling too much weight on your cervical spine. Notice if your hips came out of line as you went into the twist, try and level them back off, and breathe here. more from into the right hand. Now inhale, lift the left arm up and out to the side. Exhale back into your tabletop position. Make sure you're symmetrical. And then repeat on the second side by inhaling the right arm up out into the side. Exhale, threading it through in between the left wrist, left knee. Inhale, arm comes up and out. Exhale, threading through. One more time, inhale up and out. And exhale this time, hold the twist. Right ear completely rests on the mat. Take the hips back in line, continue to press into your left palm and breathe. Make sure this is feeling okay on your neck, snap. Just press more firmly through the left hand. And with your next inhale, extricate that right arm from underneath you, raise it up, exhale, coming into a tabletop position. From here, we're going to lower down slowly on an exhale. First point your elbow creases forward, then exhale, lowering just the chest and the chin down, but keeping the hips lifted. Inhale, slide forward, tops of the feet press down to the mat, to come up into a cobra pose, a low one at first. Then exhale, pressing back into child's pose, hips to the heels, forehead onto the mat. Again, inhale, coming up into table pose. Point the elbow creases forward. Exhale, chest and chin lower, nice and slow with control, hips stay lifted. Inhale, sliding forward, pressing into the tops of the feet. This time maybe coming up a little bit higher, straightening the arms a bit. And exhale, moving into child's pose. Three more times on your own. When you come into cobra pose, make sure the shoulders are relaxing away from the ears. Make sure you're moving in conjunction with your breath the entire time. After your last round, rather than moving into child's pose, move into Parvatasana, lifting the hips up into an inverted V by tucking the toes and perhaps bending the knees if you need to a little bit here so you can find some more length in the spine. When you connect with your ujjayi breath, that ocean sound in the back of your throat, that's very important for balance and kapha dosha. between your hands. And on your next inhale, take the right foot forward, left knee down, gazing forward. Exhale, take the left foot to meet the right in a forward fold, keep the hands on the mat. Inhale, right knee comes back, rests on the mat, gazes forward. And exhale back into Parvatasana Mountain Pose. Meeting with the left leg now. Inhale, left foot in between the hands, right knee rests down, gazing forward. Exhale, right foot between the hands, folding. Inhale, left leg back, knee to the earth, gaze forward. Exhale, Parvatasana. 
One more time each side. Inhale, right foot forward into your lunge. Exhale, left foot forward. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, left leg meets the right. Parvatasana. Inhale, left foot forward, right knee down, gaze forward. Exhale, right foot meets the left. Inhale, left leg back. And exhale, right leg back. Connect your breath here. And with your next inhale, take the right leg up and back, raising it up. Exhale into a three-legged plank, knee next to the chin. Inhale, back up, raising the leg. Exhale, twisting so that the right knee comes towards the left elbow. Inhale, back up one more time with the right leg. Exhale, this time right knee to right elbow, nice and high. And then take the foot outside, the right hand, lower the left knee down. Placing the left hand sort of in the midline of the mat. Go ahead and inhale the right arm up for a twist. I'm going for a, a hip opening twist here. So it's okay to take the right knee out to the side a bit and take some weight off the ball mount of your right toes if you wish. Make sure you're opening through the chest and breathing. Keep reaching up through the right hand. Do not bring too much weight in the left palm, left wrist. Inhale, open up a little bit wider. And exhale, both palms come down. Tuck your left toes. Inhale once more, raising the right leg high. And exhale, back into mountain pose. Inhale, the left leg up and back. Exhale, knee in towards the chin, hover. Inhale, raising the left leg back. Exhale for a twist, left knee to right elbow, nice and high. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, hover the left knee outside the left elbow, and then place the left leg outside the left hand, right leg down. Right hand comes to the midline of the mat, and use an inhale to raise the left hand up, twisting to the opposite side. Same thing here. Stacking your arms in one line, feeling a stretch in the hips, relaxing your jaw, between 10 to 10 up during these hip stretches. Next inhale, open up just a little bit wider. Exhale, both hands come down. Tuck your right toes under. Inhale, leg comes up. Exhale to Parvatasana, or of course, you can take child's pose anytime you need to during class. Gaze between your hands. You need to travel the feet to meet your gaze in the forward fold. Then go ahead and place the index finger and middle finger, both hands between the first and second toes, thumb wraps around. Inhale, find some length in the spine, and exhale, begin to fold forward, elbows pointing outside, and forehead to your knees. Continue breathing here. And then release your toes. Inhale, take the hands to the shins, flatten the spine and gaze forward. Exhale, palms back to the mat, bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, coming up halfway, Ardu Tanasana, gaze forward. Exhale, palms back to the earth. One more time, inhaling forward with a strong back and expansive heart. Exhale, palms to the mat.
And if you have any history of a herniated disc in the back, please go into the flat spine. Otherwise, roll up one vertebrae at a time, slowly, slowly, keeping the head and neck relaxed. Until the last moment, and you're in Tadasana. Palms and Namaskar Mudra at the heart center, shoulders back, equal weight in all four corners of both feet. Inhale, raise the arms up, gaze up. And exhale, dive forward, palms come all the way to the mat. Inhale, rising up, hands on the shins, gazing forward. Exhale, palms return to the earth. Coming up with a flat spine this time, inhale, hinging at the hips, raising up. And exhale, moving into Namaskar Mudra. Again, inhale, raise the arms up, the slight back bend. Exhale, diving forward, palms all the way to the mat. Inhale, coming up halfway. And exhale, folding forward. Press down through both feet to inhale and rise up to the flat back. And exhale, palms come down. One more time, inhale, raising up, gazing up. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine, find lots of space between the belly button and the heart center. Exhale, palms to the mat. Pressing down through both feet to inhale and rise up. And exhale, palms into Namaskar Mudra. From here, we're moving to classical sun salutations or Surya Namaskar Asana. We've done all the pieces of this before. We're just kind of putting everything together now. So coming into Tadasana, palms at heart center. Inhale, raise the arms up, gaze up. And exhale, dive forward. Palms come all the way to the mat. Inhale, step the right leg back, knee to the earth, gazes forward. Retain the breath as you take the left foot back to meet the right in plank pose. Then exhale, knees, chest and chin come down, but hips stay lifted. Inhale, tops of feet come to the mat, sliding forward into cobra pose, gazing up. Exhale, tuck the toes, and moving back out of through table or through plank into Parvatasana mountain pose. Take a breath here. Gaze forward between the hands. Inhale the right foot in between the hands. And exhale, left foot meets the right in your fold. Pressing down through both feet. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, palms onto Namaskar Mudra. To complete the cycle, the left leg will lead. Inhale, raising up. And exhale, palms come down. Inhale, left leg back, knee down, gaze forward. Retain the breath as you move into plank pose. And exhale nice and slow, knees, chest, chin to the earth. Sastang Namaskarasana. Inhale, tops, feet come to mat for Bhujangasana, shoulder blades together. Exhale, move into Parvatasana, mountain pose. Take a breath. Inhale, the left foot in between the hands. Right knee descends, gazes forward. Exhale, folding at the top of the mat. Inhale, rising up the flat spine. And exhale, palms into Namaskar Mudra. So if it was difficult for you to lower down slowly, knees, chest, chin, continue to practice that. If that was pretty easy for you, feel free to lower down like a plank of wood, Chaturanga Dandasana, and come into Upward Facing Dog or Dvimukha Shavasana if you choose. Regardless, let's try and keep the knee lifted now as we move into lunges. Again with the right leg, inhale, raising the arms up. And exhale, diving forward. Inhale, right foot back, knee off the mat, gazes forward. Retain the breath as the left foot meets the right. And exhale, lower down either knees, chest, chin, or like a plank of wood. Inhale into cobra, or into upward facing dog, gaze up. And exhale into parvatasana mountain pose. Your next inhale takes the right foot in between the hands, left knee is lifted. Exhale, folding at the top of the mat. Pressing down through both feet, inhale, rising up with the flat back, and exhale, palms into Namaskar Mudra. Left leg leads, inhale, raising up. Exhale, palms come all the way to the mat as you fold. 
Inhale, left leg back, knee off the mat, gaze is forward. Tame the breath as you move to plank pose. Exhale, lowering down with control, either Sastang Namaskarasana or Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale for Bhujangasana or Adho Mukha Shavasana. Exhale into Parvatasana. Take a breath. Inhale, the foot in between the hands, gazes forward. Exhale, holding at the top of the mat. Pressing down through both feet. Inhale, rising up. And exhale, palms into Navaskar Mita. Take a breath here. Here for one final round with a variation. Inhale, palms come up. Gaze is up. Exhale, lower the hands down. Inhale, the right leg comes back. Hold the breath, the left leg comes back. Exhale, lowering with control. Inhale to your back, bend shoulders, relax down either one. Exhale, Parvatasana. Take a breath. And this time with the next inhale, raise the right leg up and back. Exhale the foot in between the hands, lower the left heel down, heel to arch alignment. Place the right hand on the shin or the ankle and inhale, straighten the knee, put the left arm up for Chikanasana Triangle Pose. Take a few breaths here. Try to stack your body all in one line. Left hip over the right hip. Arms and shoulders aligned. Gaze up if it's comfortable in the neck. And then with the next exhale, the left arm comes down. Come off the back heel. Inhale, the left foot comes forward, and you take the hands to the shins for Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold and forward. Press down through both hands. Inhale, rise up the flat back. And exhale, palms into Namaskar Mudra. One breath here before we prepare for side two. And then inhale, raise the arms up. Gaze up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, left leg back, knee off, gaze forward. Retain the breath as you move to plank, and exhale, lower with control. Inhale, expand the heart forward, and exhale, move into mountain pose. One breath here. And next inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, foot in between the hands, right heel comes down, find your alignment for Trikonasana. And straighten the left knee, take the right arm up, and breathe. I'm going to take the same variation as on the first side, even though this is an asymmetrical pose, and you may find yourself more or less open on the second side. Try not to dump too much weight into the left hand, really reach up the right hand to avoid that. One more breath here. And exhale, right hand comes down, coming off the back heel. Inhale, right foot forward, hands to shins, flat spine. Exhale, palms down to the mat. Inhale, rising up the flat back, gazing up. Exhale, palms into Namaskar Mudra. Find your Tadasana and close your eyes. Come back into the breath. Notice how it's changed since our opening meditation. Open the eyes up again. We'll do an active twisting here where we take the arms wide and exhale actively as we twist to the right and tap the chest with the left hand. And then we'll do the same thing on the left side and continue like that. Coming into a T, inhale here, grow tall in the spine, exhale right. Good, real active with the exhales here. Inhale and just come to center. And make sure you're tapping the chest enough so you can actually hear it. One more each side. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, lower the hands down. Coming back into Trikonasana now, take the left leg back, 
find that heel to arch alignment. Nice, wide, long stance with the legs. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, hips shift backward as the arm comes forward. And then lower the hand to the ankle or shin and raise the left arm up. Strong legs. You can use some leverage with your right hand to keep opening up the left arm behind you. And notice if you feel some additional stretch in the inner right thigh if you do so. From here on the next inhale, we'll take both arms alongside the ears. And then exhale back into Trikonasana. Inhale, arms parallel with the mat. Exhale, arms perpendicular to the mat. Keep going. Try to keep this as a side bend. Your knees are moving through these postures. One more time. And come back to your Trikonasana. Slight bend to the right knee. Inhale, pressing up. And exhale back to Tadasana at the front of the mat. Take a breath here. And then big step back with the right foot. Find that heel to arch alignment. Toes pointing slightly forward on the right foot. Inhale. Arms come out, exhale, left arm forward, hips back, and descend down into side two of Trikonasana. Take a few breaths, settle in here. Try not to think about where we're going. And then next, inhale, arms alongside the ears, say namaste to your obliques. Exhale, back into Trikonasana. Inhale, arms alongside the ears. Exhale, and turn, continue. One more time. Reaching up that right hand, settling into your trikonasana. And subtle bend to that left knee now. Inhale, coming up. And exhale back to the top of your mat. And here we'll try a dynamic variation of utkatasana. We'll keep the feet hip width distance wide for here, this. We'll take the hands back by the armpits. Inhale, puff the chest out. And exhale, sink down. Continue to breathe actively through the nose, just like in our twists. A little bit lower. Three more. Three, two, one. Inhale up. And exhale this time, let's hold Utkatasana. You can keep the arms parallel or take them alongside the ears. Gaze down, make sure you can tell whether or not your toes are indeed happy toes. Breathing here, pretty neutral in the spine. One more breath. And exhale, fold. Relax the neck. Inhale, hands to the shins, gaze forward. Exhale, back into your fold. Press down through both feet. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, palms onto Namaskar Mudra. Arms come wide again. This time shift weight into your left foot. You're going to take the right foot back behind for Apsarasana Angel Pose. You're going to take your hands into Gyan Mudra, which can help for balance and focus. If you can take the right leg a little bit higher without bending the knee. You can take the arms a little bit wider, expand the chest more. If you're struggling with balance, you can stay here. Otherwise, we're going to transition into warrior three by hinging at the hip and taking that right leg as close to parallel with the mat as possible. Right toes pointing directly down, not out to the sides. 
Level off the hips if possible, lowering the right hip so it isn't too much higher than the left. And breathe. Inhale, slowly hand it back up. And exhale, back to center. Feel free to shake out. And back to Tadasana. Back to arms wide, Yan Mudra. This time shifting to the right leg. Taking the left leg behind for Apsarasana, second side. Expanding the chest, taking the shoulder blades together. Gazing at a lower drishti will be easier for balance here, particularly as we transition into warrior three. Inhale, expand it a little bit more. If you did so on the first side, exhale, hinging at the hip, finding your body as parallel as possible to the mat, both in terms of the torso and the leg and in terms of the hips. Toes pointing down, breath is steady. Inhale, slowly come up. And exhale, coming out and shake out one more time. Moving from here into breath of joy. It's a three part inhale and an exhale out through the mouth. So it's inhale, arms forward, inhale, arms to the side, inhale, arms up and then exhale through the mouth as you bend the knees and take the hands down. So look at this. Begin. Make sure you bend the knees as you fold. One more and we'll hold the fold. Holding down. And this time, you can take any variation of forward fold that you like. The variation I'm taking has the backs of the palms on the mat. I'm stepping on the palms, toes in the wrist creases. Any variation that feels good to you. And breathe. And then release, bind your hands and your feet. Inhale for Ardu Tanasana. Exhale, palms down. And we'll meet you into Parvatasana, either moving through a vinyasa or going directly there. Do what makes sense for you today. Then we'll take the knees to the mat, cross the ankles, and resting on the hips, lifting the feet up and supporting the legs with the hands. Preparing for Naukasana, chest is expanding and shoulder blades are moving back. Now be very mindful to keep this expansion in the chest as you release the arms, palms face up. Be mindful to keep breathing too. Now if you're slouching, really take those shoulder blades together. Inhale, lift a little bit higher. Exhale, palms and feet come down, palms slightly behind you. Inhale, press into the palms of the feet to lift the hips up to knee height. And exhale, coming back down. Round two, starting at the same way. And then release the hands. And this time, if you can keep the chest lifted, see if you can straighten the legs, feet about at the height of the head. Breathing here, shaking is okay. Inhale, shoulder blades further together. Chest lifts up. Exhale, palms come down, feet come down. Inhale, rising up. And exhale down. This time for the final round, we'll move dynamically. Support the legs, bending the knees, then release the legs. Then exhale, straighten the legs as you lower down. Inhale up, bend the knees. 
can continue. Slower you move here, the more core work you'll feel. Keep going. Get nice and low when you straighten the legs. Two more. Inhale up. Up, 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 up. Exhale, feet down this time. Just hug the knees with the hands. Tuck the chin in and breathe in between your shoulder blades. Very nice work. Cross the ankles, come down onto the belly. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Press down through the tops of the feet and through the hip bones. Inhale, raise the shoulders, the chest off the mat. And try to take the hands away from the hips if there's some space there. Shoulder blades coming together again, gazing slightly forward. Sarpasana, serpent pose. Breathing here into the sides of the ribs where there's space for the breath. Next exhale, press down more firmly through the feet. Next inhale, peel up a little bit higher. Exhale, slowly lower down, gaze to your right. We'll take two bumblebee sounding breaths together here to help calm the nervous system a bit. Inhale. Mm -hmm. Again, inhale. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Gaze back to center. This time, take the opposite interlace of the fingers behind you. And keep the chin pressing down into the mat and lift up just the legs and the arms. Shoulder blades still coming back. And kind of the converse of the last pose. This variation of Shalabhasana. Now keep the legs and the arms lifted. And next inhale, raise the chin and the chest as well. Lifting everything you can away from the mat. And breathing and gazing forward. Inhale a little bit up with everything. Exhale, slowly come down. This time the right ear turns to the left. And we take two more Brahmari breaths together. Inhale. Mm -hmm. Inhale. Turn the chin to center. You can repeat either of those prone back bends, or we'll take a dynamic variation of Danyarasana by bending the knees, bending the outer edges of the ankles with the hands. Inhale, peel the knees and the chest up off the mat. And exhale, lower down. Continue. Inhale up. Exhale down. Try not to separate the knees too wide as you come up. And see if you can come up a little bit higher each time. Next time you're up, go ahead and hold the pose. So make sure you're not holding your breath. Shoulder blades together. Act like you're trying to straighten your legs. Inhale a little bit further up. Exhale, slowly lower down. Release the legs. Take the elbows wide. Make a pillow for your forehead. Big toes touching. Heel separate. Breathe into your low back here. If it feels good, you can shift the hips from side to side. Good. 
through the stillness, squeeze the palms underneath the shoulders. For a challenge here, before you come up, lift the knees up off the mat. Tuck the toes either way. Then inhale, press up into plank pose, nice and slow. Gaze in front of the mat, breathing here. Activate your core muscles, activate your leg muscles so your arms are not doing all the work. Keep breathing. One more breath here. And exhale into Parvatasana. Last one of the day. This time try and tuck your rib cage in a little bit. So you can feel like you're breathing into the back part of the body. Literally feel the back of the rib cage expand with every inhale. And lower the knees down. Preparing for Ustrasana camel pose. Support the low back, the hands. You can always find some extra padding for your knees here if you need it. Inhale, lift the crown of the head up, find some length in the spine. Exhale, use your hands to help guide the hips forward as you bend backwards. Shoulders moving towards your heels. If you have the space, you can take the hands down to the heels. Toes tucked is easier. Feet flat on the mat is a little bit more challenging because there's a little bit extra distance. Once you have the feet, keep pressing the hips forward and breathe into the front part of the body. If you're touching your heels, once again, support the back. Inhale, slowly, slowly, slowly come up. Exhale, coming to sitting on your heels. And here, we'll take the knuckles together just below the navel. Pinkies are pointing out, elbows are to the sides. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, folding over your fists into Mandukasana. Now, if your ribs are coming into contact with your hands, lower them down or just as you need to so that you're just compressing your stomach here and then breathe as normal. Feel this compression in your digestive system. and slowly come up again. Either continue sitting on your heels or come to a cross-legged seat for Jaya Kriya or hands breathing our last active breath of the day. Inhaling the arms up, exhaling the arms down and clasping the thumbs. This is active in and out through the nose. Begin. Keep going. Three more, three, two, one, inhale, arms up. Inhale a little bit more, exhale, lowering the hands down. Jaya Kriya is extremely good for your lymph nodes and therefore very good for your immune system. And here, shift your weight onto your left hip and cross your right foot onto the outside of your left knee. So your right knee is pointing up, preparing for Ardha Matsya and Drasana. Right hand comes behind you. Okay, take stand to lengthen your spine. Inhale, the left arm comes up. Exhale, twist the right knee, either hug your knee into your chest or take the elbow outside the knee and use it as leverage to twist deeper. The entire sole of your right foot is on the mat here. Don't allow that big toe to peel off. Inhale to grow taller on the spine. Exhale, relax the abdomen and see. There's space to twist deeper. Keep relaxing the jaw here. Inhale, slightly come out of the twist. Exhale, counter twist with the right hand to the right foot. 
and twisting to the left. And inhale coming out of it. Release the legs and this time bend the right knee coming onto the right hip and the left foot comes outside the right knee. Left hand comes behind you, left kicks in, both sitting bones are on the mat. Inhale the right arm up. Next, I'll take the same variation of the twist as you took to the right side. Inhales, pressing down through the left hand to grow taller. Exhales, relaxing everything above the navel to twist deeper. Make sure that left big toe is pressing into the mat. Make sure you're breathing. Breathing can be a little bit more challenging when your abdomen is compressed like this. You can explore sending more breath into the chest or in the side ribs. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, counter twist to the right, left hand to the left foot. Inhale, coming forward, and stretch your feet out in front of you for Dandasana. Arms by the side, really press down to the mat strong, shoulder blades back, legs are strong here. Now just watch me demo the next sequence. We'll be exhaling, folding forward, inhaling, coming to center, and tucking the chin, Jalandra Bandhakudadeh for Kapalabhati. Then exhale, we'll be coming in towards plow pose behind us. Inhale. We come into staff, hold the breath, exhale, maybe coming a little bit deeper each time. Eventually, we'll hold the pose, but we'll move dynamically a few times first. Go ahead, coming from a staff pose, inhale, grow tall, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, and exhale towards plow. And the next time you're folding forward in Paschimottanasana, go ahead and hold this fold. You can clasp your ankles, your big toes, the outer edges of your feet, whatever you need to to feel like you're getting the maximum benefit from the spine. And bend your knees slightly if you need to. And again, any herniated disc, keep a straight spine. Otherwise, feel free to round the back, take the chin in towards the chest, and breathe into the back body. Next inhale, come back to your Dandasana. Don't forget the breath retention. And exhale, coming back towards Halasana, plow pose. Or you can support the low back and move into Sarangasana. If you feel like in your Sarangasana, you're not putting a lot of weight into your hands, you can explore, resting the hands down, and maintaining the position with your core strength. Sure you're breathing wherever you are in the half inversion of plow with the full inversion of sarvangasana. Slowly exhale from the feet behind the head. Hands come back to the mat if they're supporting the low back. One vertebrated timing into lower the hips down to the mat. You can bend the knees if you need to here as you then lower the feet down. Once both feet are down the mat, decide whether you'd like to take wheel pose or matsyasana fish pose. I'm going to cue fish pose, placing the hands underneath the glutes, elbows close together. Taking wheel pose, go ahead on your own. Inhale, raise the torso by bending into the elbows and take those elbows even closer together. Exhale, crown of the head moves down to the mat. Expanding the throat 
from the chest, shoulders down. Whether you're in Chakrasana or Matsyasana, really feel that expansion in the throat, in the shoulders, and in the chest. Here in wheel pose, tuck your chin before you slowly lower down. Here in fish pose, first lift the crown of the head, then tuck the chin and lower down. And let's all bend the right knee, hug it into the chest. Take the right arm out to a T position. Use the left hand to guide that knee over to the left side. Try to keep your right shoulder as close to the mat as you can and gaze towards that right hand if it feels okay on the neck. This time you can begin to extend your exhalations again. They're slightly longer than the inhales. Gazing to the right, take the gaze back to center. Slowly take the knee back to center, hug it in once more. Then extend that right leg out, hug the left knee in. Nice and close, left arm to a T. And the right hand guides that knee off to the right side so that we're twisting to our left. Gaze to your left hand, left shoulder, relaxing down. And continue to breathe, continue to extend the exhalations as long as it's comfortable, up to twice the length of the inhale. Relax the jaw, relax as many muscles as you can here. Gaze to center, left knee to center, and then hug the right knee in as well. Take the head and neck off the mat. Make yourself into a nice little ball here. Squeezing. And slowly make your way into corpse pose, Shavasana. Something like a blanket underneath the head to keep your chin slightly tucked and the back of your neck long, It'd be nice. You can put any extra layers of clothing that you like here. Something underneath the knees if your back isn't feeling great. And once you're all set up, palms come wide, about 45 degrees away from the hips. The hips. Your fingers should naturally curl in as they relax. And if the index finger and thumb naturally come towards resting against one another, allow that to happen. Back of the neck long. Eyes closed. Just settle in here.
Om Asatoma Sakamaya Tamasoma Jotir Gamaya Ritual Ma Amritan Gamaya Slowly come back into your body and reconnect with the breath. Wiggle the fingers and the toes. Go the wrists and the ankles. Very gently take your head from side to side. And inhale to stretch the arms overhead. Feet in the opposite direction, get nice and long in the spine. And exhale as you hug the knees into the chest once again. This time keeping the head relaxed on the mats and rocking from side to side to massage the low back. And eventually make your way all the way onto your right side in embryo pose, using your right arm as a pillow for the ear. Take a few breaths here, settle down with the support of the earth beneath you. In your own time, begin to make your way to a seated pose. Again, I recommend some height for the hips. No rush here. Find a tall spine. Preparing for Surya Bedi Pradnayam. That's the solar activating breath. We'll be breathing in through the right nostril, out through the left. First three rounds will be just like that. Second three rounds will include an internal breath retention, like we've practiced a couple times already today. The left hand is in Gyan Mudra. Right hand is in Pranayam Mudra by taking the index and middle finger and curling them in. You'll be using your right hand, your right thumb, to articulate your right nostril and the pinky and ring of the right hand to articulate the left nostril. So exhale completely, place the pinky and ring finger on the left nostril, and inhale through the right nostril. Five, four, three, two, one. Lock the right with the thumb, open the left, exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Lock left, open right, inhale. Five, four, three, two, one. One, no noise. Block the right, open left, exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Close left, open right, inhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Close right, open left, exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Add the retention if you're comfortable. Inhale through the right. Five, four, three, two, one. One, block both nostrils. Five, four, three, two, one. Open left, exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Close left, open right, inhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Both nostrils closed. Five, four, three, two, one. Open left. Five, four, three, two, one. One last round in through the right. Five, four, three, two, one. Retain. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale left. Five, four, three, two, one. Replace the right hand on the lap. Index finger and thumb touching. Spine is tall. We tend to be very left-brained, logical, ordered. I'd like you to focus on your heart center for meditation. We tend to be very right-brained, creative, intuitive. Focus on your third eye center, area between your eyebrows. If you've chosen to focus on your heart center, meditate on your heartbeat. And if you've chosen to focus, in the third eye, 
notice any colors or images you see there. Feel free to continue to meditate a little while longer. Raise the palms back into Namaskar Mudra in front of the chest. And connect to any transformation that you've witnessed in your practice today. We'll close with the Akanda Mantra, one Om and three Shantis together. Inhale. Om Akanda Mandala Karam Vyaptam Yena Chara Charam Tatpadam Darshitam Yena Tatmai Shri Guruve Namaha Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. You know, physical peace, mental peace, and peace in your spirit. Namaste. Beautiful practice today. Remember, if you get in a rut, you do need to change up your practice every so often. Do so, it's very beneficial. <laughs>